Hi everyone and welcome to the Mathman YouTube channel. In this video today we're going to be looking at a geometry objective which is how to reflect a shape on a grid. This video is going to start with me showing you how to reflect a shape on a grid like this and this and we're also going to be looking at how to do it if there's a diagonal line. And then at the end of the video we're going to be looking at two questions that you might come across in an exam and how to solve them. But let's start with actually how to reflect a shape on a grid. So here I have a square and I need to reflect it across this mirror line here. So pick this, the trick is to pick any point um, on the shape. So I'm going to pick this bottom right hand corner and you're going to count how many squares is it until the mirror line? So it is one. So it must be one on the other side. So the first point is going to be there. Then I'm going to pick the next corner of this square, which is there. So it's one to the line. So it must be one past the line. So the new corner will be there. Then I'm going to do this corner. So how many is that? One, two three, four, five to the line, so it must be five past the line. One, two, three, four, five. That's where that corner will be. And finally, this corner here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then using my ruler, which I don't have, I'm going to join the crosses up. And that is where my reflected shape will be. So now we're going to uh, reflect the shape horizontally. So this here is the mirror line. So I'm going to start with this corner here. It is one, two, three to the line. So going past, we're going to go one, two, three. And that's where it will be. I'm going to pick this corner here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to pick this corner now. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then this corner. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then join the crosses up. And then colour it in. That is where the new shape is after it's been reflected. What do we do, though, if we have a diagonal line? Well, this is a little more tricky because we end up with half squares to count. So, as you can see here, it is a half square to the line. So, it's a half square past it. It's going to be here. This, con this corner here. We've got one full square, two full squares, three full squares. So one, two, three. The corner is going to be there. And then this point here, one, two, and a half. So that's one half, one full one, and two full ones. And the corner is going to be there. And then we're going to join it up. And that is where the new shape will be after it's been reflected. So now we've learned the skill of how to reflect a shape on a grid. Now let's take a look at some example questions that you may get in an exam. So one exam question may say, um, reflect this shape oh, um, from the second quadrant, which is this, onto the first quadrant or it might say ref reflect the shape horizontally and give the new coordinates of each corner so let's take a look here one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five six seven eight nine one two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm pretty confident that the other corner is going to be there. So now I've worked out where the shape is, I need to answer the question, which is, what are the coordinates of the new vertices or the corners of the uh, new shape? So I will start with this one. So that is five along the corridor and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is five and six for the first corner. The next corner is going to be nine and six. This corner is going to be five and two. And this corner is going to be nine and two. Now, another common question that you get in exams is reflect this shape and what are the new coordinates for A? So as you can see here, we have A point A. So I'm going to first um, reflect the shape. So I'm going to pick this point here first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then this point. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five five and then point a one two three four five six or one two three four five six so that's where point a is going to be now and then this one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten So that's the new shape. So I would have been given one point there for reflecting the shape. And the coordinates for point A, which is here now, would be so along the corridor first to negative six. And then up to negative four. So point A, the new coordinates are negative six and negative four.